Welcome to the first video of mobileparts.shop. In our videos, we will explain all about developments, products and services regarding mobileparts.shop. Hi, my name is Remco and this video is all about tools. We've been selling tools for a while and are always looking for improvements. We want to offer you the creme de la creme of tools so you can spend money on what really works. Guess what? We found them. We're offering them in collaboration with someone you recently met at our first mobile parts event in Burger Zoo in February 2020. This guy has been roaming the markets in Shenzhen for years with only one goal, looking for the best and most efficient repair tools. With his passion for mobile repair, he has used and tested hundreds of tools over time. Now he's happy to share the very best tools with you. He has 10 years of experience with micro soldering and shares his knowledge with more than 20,000 followers on his YouTube channel. He is just an Ashford from the Art of Repair. Uh, we now have contact with him live from the States. Justin, how are you? Hey, what's going on, Remco? Uh, me, personally, right now, uh, just another beautiful day in the repair grid. Out here just fixing stuff, having fun, and trying to learn new stuff every day. You know what I mean? Justin, you did a micro soldering uh, masterclass and workshop during the mobile parts event in 2020, uh, just before the COVID-19 breakout. What have you been up to? That's an interesting question. An interesting question that has an interesting answer. What have I been doing? I've been finding the real tools, okay? Y'all remember the micro soldering masterclass. We all had a good old time, okay? But, y'all see what's in my hand right now. The garbage titanium tweezers. These are not titanium, okay? These are. How do I know? Because you can feel it. When you put it in your hand, there's an absolute weight difference. When you touch something and pick it up, well, let's, let's do this. When, you, when you're trying to do something with these, you're doing it, okay? And I realized that pretty much all tools are garbage. Why is that though? Why? The reason why is because in China there are 100 qualities to everything. There is generally a master derivative design for a tool and then that design will kind of proliferate and people will make changes and upgrades and then you end up with something like this. Something that's cheaper, lighter and works. By works, I mean it generally bends and breaks in the first few hours, okay? And then you were like, why did I pay $20 for this? So I decided to find every single vendor, or I guess, not vendor, but factory that actually creates the original derivative designs and source them. And I wanna share this with everybody. I think that it's time it's time for us to have the best tools. And somebody has to do it. And saying somebody has to do it, at some point, it's gotta be you. So, it's me, and here we are, and the best tools have arrived. You, you will see. So, you launched your own selection of tools, Justin. Um, tell us, man, um, we already have so many supplies of tools. What is unique about yours? Unique? I think it's really the approach. Um, when, just like we were saying, when, when you go buy tools, you generally buy a random derivative and, you know, there, there's almost no way, there's no way to even find the factory unless you were like up in the jams with it over there, right? So unique, I think really it's small details. It's making sure that the tool that's coming really is the tool that's coming and not something that's had changes to it. Speaking of that, uh, Justin, uh, how do you determine the quality of a tool? Based on what principles do you judge them? Oh, that's a really good question because unique and how you judge something 
are two totally different things, right? So what am I judging these tools on? Let's just, let's just take an example. So with screwdrivers, we obviously have to go against other screwdrivers. We have to, we have to look at what they were supposed to do, which is unscrew something and how the tool is supposed to accomplish that with your help, right? So uh, let's just do an example, okay? On some screwdrivers, I would probably test the difference between the bearings. You see how one worked really good and one didn't. I would probably go with the weight to see how well it felt in my hand, to feel if it was sturdy, to feel if it just felt like it was cheap. Um, I mean, the length of it itself is pretty important. I mean, there, there's people that, you know, just have different, like, kind of capabilities with that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, just the, the tip strength, what it's actually made of. I mean, there, there, there's quite a few different things that I would probably look at as soon as I picked up something like that. And I would love to find some way to translate that to everybody else who's watching so that, you know, they can also start to look at these things once they actually get their tools in. Because once you care, then things are going to change. The Art of Repair is your brand, Justin. Uh, what can we expect in the future from The Art of Repair? What is The Art of Repair up to? That is a good question. Because the truth is, everybody, the art of repair was like a passion hobby. Like, for probably five years before I started, it's all I could think about. You know, I was like, oh, I can do videos better. Then, you know, I, I thought about it, and it, it really took my best friend to kind of push me into to making it happen every week. And I, it's just been a hobby. I haven't really worried about it too much. I, I made sure to use every opportunity that was given to me or afforded to me through the kindness of the industry. And I've tried to push myself as far as I can. But I think it's time to really dive deep back in and start putting out tons and tons of videos. Like, you know, all the time I'm silent, I'm working on projects, I'm learning. You know, I, when I went to China, I learned so much. And I actually had intentions of putting out tons of videos over there, but the truth is they won't let you do that. So, you know, that was kind of a, a big break in, in, in life for me on that, but I, I used it to learn. You know, I, I used it to just expand my brain with repair. So now that we are in a situation where, you know, it's, you know everybody's gotta, gotta make it work. You know, I think for me, it's time to make the art of repair work and by work I mean it needs to be the full-time thing you know we need to go Linus Tech Tips on this we need to you know and we need to be having four or five videos a week and we need to hit things really hard so that that's kind of my plan you know I I want to first and foremost continue with technique based videos that you can push through any device but you know, along with the tools and stuff, I want to put out tons of videos teaching you guys about what the real tools are, what the good tools are, and how to find them. And, you know, it's it's complicated, but there's a lot coming. I, I don't fully know myself. I think I was even just kind of, you know, going with it as we were right now, you know, if, if you want a true, honest-to-God answer, everybody. So I just want the art of repair to be everything that it was meant to be and it was meant to help you that's all i care about it's it's weird but all i want to do is help people and justin i've heard you need feedback from our clients is that right the beta program so you know there are a lot of companies out there that want to send you tools and get your opinions and they'll ask you to make a video about it and that's it, right? But the beta program is a little bit different. First and foremost, you have to apply for it, okay? We're not just sending tools to people, right? Because when you send tools to people, most of the time, they just keep them and they don't help you. They don't give you advice. They don't give you any kind of opinion on it. Nothing, okay? So I'm not doing that. Not happening, okay? I'm not a big company. My name is Justin from The Art Repair, right? So we're gonna do it my way. And my way is that anybody who wants to sign up is more than welcome to sign up. And I would love to send you guys hand tools, maybe something a little nicer, you know? But with that, if I send somebody a tool, I absolutely wanna to talk to you about it. Like, like I'm getting on the phone with you, like for real. Like, we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna find out your opinion. 
I'm going to find out why you have that opinion, and I want to share that opinion, okay? Because I think that the community's thought process on tools has to be included in a, in any kind of, like, anything. Like, if, if I'm going to show you guys tools, I need to know what we're looking for. Because I know what I'm looking for, but maybe you're looking for something a little bit different, okay? So if you want to have your voice heard, like 100%, then you can sign up for the beta program and you know you can have your soapbox you can be on the art of repair you can come in with an audio call you can you know you can write a review something like that but that's what i want i want to give tools to people that want to help make better tools because for me i've got all of the contacts and access now to not only acquire but create the greatest tools we've ever seen and i don't think i can do that without your help so Sign up. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have fun. Okay. Thank you so much, Justin, for your time. And we hope to see you soon in uh, many videos to come. Oh, you guys are going to see me in more in videos. I'm coming back to Holland. Okay. We can't wait, man. Okay. Thank you so All much. Right. See you again soon. See you. Bye. bye bye. So, we have good news for you. From now on, you can register for the beta tool program on the web shop. Uh, we would love to send you free tools so you can review them. Thank you for watching this first video of mobileparts.shop. Uh, there are many more to come, so stay tuned.